Okay, so check this out because it's actually pretty amazing and it's really easy to do. This image isn't on the glass, this image is inside the glass. I created it with this new Omni X 5 watt UV laser that can do pretty much anything any other UV laser can do, but it can also engrave 3D designs inside solid glass. If you're a maker or a small business owner, this isn't just cool, this is like an entirely new product line. I'm going to show you in this video how it works and why it might become the most versatile laser in your workshop. So let's get to it. So Commarker's first UV laser, the Omni One, is a compact workhorse. It's great for quick marks on plastic, leather, most metals, and pretty much any other material. But now it has a sibling. By comparison, this new Omni X feels like a serious upgrade, not just a tweak of the Omni One. For starters, you get a full enclosed chassis, which is a big win for safety in controlling dust and fumes. Inside that cabinet, there's a 5 watt UV laser, for, but it's now paired with an accurate autofocus and a powered Z axis, and that opens the door for, uh, for more advanced work like 3D engraving inside solid glass. Around back, there's a full set of connectors, so you can have a foot pedal, rotary tool, interior lighting, and there's even a port for an extension table, which is going to expand the workspace by over 266% for larger jobs, and I'll show you that in a minute. In short, the Omni X has the same core power as its predecessor, but it's way more capable and way more refined. If the Omni One was your first intro to UV lasers, then the X is going to feel like the version that was made for serious projects and real business use. So now let's talk about software. And one of the first questions I get asked with any laser is, does it work with Lightburn? And of course, the short answer here is yes. Now the Omni X uses a different laser module than the Omni One. and that means rather than pick the JPT device in Lightburn, you're going to instead pick the BSL laser device. Now, at the time I'm creating this, there isn't a calibration file provided by Commarker, so I had to basically do a manual calibration. It's not that big a deal, and I'll put a link up in the corner here to a video I did on Galvo calibration. It's pretty simple. After you get all this set up, the laser basically works like any other laser. And if you're already comfortable in light burn, then you're gonna feel right at home with basic en engraving jobs. What you won't be able to do in light burn is take advantage of all of the 3D capabilities of the Omni X. And for that, we have a different tool. And that new tool is called Commarker Studio, and it's a light burn kind of equivalent. It's not quite as powerful, but it's also not quite as complex. So uh, when I turn the laser on, it will just automatically connect. I don't have to do anything fancy. I can then do something like drop an image in. In this case, it's a black and white image. Although I can adjust the contrast and brightness, it doesn't make a lot of sense here. And uh, I can scale, of course, I can position. Then let's say I wanted to drop some text on this. I can just, just plunk it down there. Again, it's a lot like Lightburn from, from that regard. I can go edit the text and I'll call this guy uh, Doctor Who and uh, I'll confirm it. And once I, I do that, then I can certainly select both of these things and position them relative to each other so I can do you know basic alignment. I can then go over to the right hand side and you'll see two layers there and one of them is that text I can say fill it. Once I once I'm happy with my image I can then go pick the material that I want and in this case I'll just say uh, let's use cork and it will go and automatically set those values. Now those values come from from their material library but you can completely customize this if you want. And uh, you can go change some values here. If you decide you don't like the, the default settings, you can go change them. Now, after that, you can do things like, like uh, focus. And when I do the, the focus here, I'll drop a piece of material down and hit the autofocus. And you'll see the, the focus actually come down to where it's supposed to be. And when I'm happy with that, I can just confirm it. Then I can do an outline, uh, uh, like a preview. And I'll need a card for this of some sort because it uses the UV laser for, for framing. And again, once I'm happy with all of that, I can just hit the start and I can go and engrave a job. And in this case, I didn't pay a whole lot of attention to alignment here, but, but you can see that it came out and it looks really nice. So suffice it to say that a UV laser can engrave on almost any surface. So I didn't do an exhaustive set of engravings here, but I did quite a few. 
And if you want to see uh, even more, then check out my original Omni One review. I'll put a link up in the corner here. And that'll give you a, a more idea of what can be engraved. But I did set to work and I did a bunch of engraving. So I started with uh, basswood, basic basswood. Then I moved to stainless steel, in this case, a keychain. Uh, black matte acrylic, which uh, which works really well, and uh, metal business cards, both uh, silver, and I also did some black ones. And when you look at these, the output is super crisp. Uh, there's a slight coaster, and it's reasonably white. I did a better core coaster with uh, with a just a dog on it. Uh, there's that basswood sample. Uh, that vertical line is wood grain. And this actually came out kind of cool because the white parts are actually still silver. The dog images in general on the Omni X are, look fantastic. This one actually probably was a little, little uh, heavier engraving than it could have been. It could have been a little lighter than this. So that's that's the engraving. Now I didn't want to go too deep into this because this isn't really the most exciting thing about this laser. And we're going to start looking at some of those things now. And the first of these we're going to look at is 3D relief engraving. Now it's not really 3D, it's 2.5D, but it does use an STL file as the model. And it, what it will do is en engrave from the top surface down and create a 3D effect on any material, including glass. And I'll show you a close-up of one here that I did in glass. It will literally chisel a 3D sculpture in the surface of the glass. Now this one's very small, but you'll get the idea. I'm actually going to use a piece of maple just to really give you the effect here. And I'm going to go to that 3D uh, relief view and I'm going to select the file. In this case, I'm just going to do a mandala, which I, I found it looked kind of cool. So I thought I would do it. And as far as settings go, I'm going to do 60 layers here. You can go as high as you want. It takes a long time. Uh, speed will be 3000 millimeters a second. The pulse there you saw is, is, uh, is about five. And then the frequency is 30. And uh, I, um, I'll show you the sped up version of this. This actually took uh, quite a bit of time. It took about an hour, but the results are spectacular here. You can see complete 3D effect. And I think that's really just amazing. So next I'll look at full 3D engraving inside a block of glass. And this is my most favorite feature of the Omni X, specifically because this technique has been around for a very long time, but the lasers to do it uh, typically had previously cost $40,000, $50,000, which is why when you bought these, these engraved blocks at a, at a souvenir shop, they're very popular for souvenirs, uh, they always cost like upwards of $100. Well, now anyone who's got a budget and a side hustle or a small business can do this right in your own shop. And I think that's the coolest thing ever. So let's get to it. And I'm going to go and select the 3D glass mode. And uh, again, I'll pick a file. Now I loaded a couple of STL files from Thingiverse, in this case, uh, Starship Enterprise, the original. And uh, you can see the yellow outline there. That's the actual shape of the block and you can change it on the upper right side. So I'll rotate the, the object vertically here because I have, I'm gonna stand this block up when I'm doing the engraving. And then I'm gonna scale it down to the size of, uh, so it fits inside the box. And so I zoomed it down to 0.6. I'm actually gonna go to 0.5 just to make it fit really nicely, nice proportions. You don't really have to do anything with the settings here because they're all pre-configured for glass. Really, all you have to do is hit the start button and watch it go. And this is, again, this is cool. This is the sped up version. This took about 20 minutes, so it's actually really quick too. And when you're done, the result is just amazing. And you can see uh, that the level of detail here is pretty incredible. And they're fully 3D, which means anyone who sees them is like super excited. So if you're doing work with another business, you have an opportunity to sell these as maybe paperweights with their company logo in them, tell them to take them to trade shows. Uh, they're a pretty expensive giveaway, but but you can you can do that. I've seen these given away at, at trade shows. 
the other thing you can do is if you have access to uh, maybe a souvenir shop, uh, you know, engrave a local attraction in these things in 3D and they will buy these things and sell them. They'll sell tons of these. So you can do that. Now there's one other approach you can take here. There, you can also do flat images, but engrave them into things that are more appropriate for awards of recognition. And you can buy these on Amazon. You can actually put photos in these things too, which is kind of cool. But but if you want to do awards uh, thinking for a, another business, uh, you can basically buy these things. You take pick your flat image, focus on the surface, and then drop it by however however half the thickness of your material, basically. And then you can do these engravings. And you can see these things, they're flat, but but they're embedded in the glass. And they again, they they just look very appealing. And people will love these things if they're if they're giving employees awards or or even customers. Now, if you're wondering about accessories uh, on top of what you get in the normal Omni Xbox, there's a couple, and I'm going to talk about both of them. The first one is a slider, and what that does is extend the workspace by, I don't know, 250, 260%. And it's basically a rail. It's much like all the other sliders you've seen. comes with a few clamps uh, for various things, and you can just plug it into the extension port in the back. And now to get it configured, I go back into Commarker Studio and I'm going to change the mode to extension mode, which enables that control. And really that's all you have to do. So I'll just paste in a, a long string here. You can see it's 250 millimeters long and uh, I'll set the speed to um, around, well, I'll actually go and change it to a thousand. That's probably, probably better. And I'll just run a quick engrave here. Now I didn't have these settings perfect, so this isn't the best engrave in the world, but it is bigger than the workspace by quite a bit. So uh, that will call a success. It, it actually did a really nice job here, all things considered. And really that's the extension. Now this isn't the world's greatest tool, but it's nice that Commarker has added this to the accessory set because there are times when you want to do something bigger. Maybe you have a long metal uh, piece of material and you want to engrave something really long on it. That would otherwise be much more difficult or impossible. So I think this is a good add. The second accessory is, of course, the rotary. And uh, we're all familiar with rotary, so I won't delve into this too deeply. But uh, again, I'll go back to studio and I'll set in the in this case the chuck and I'm just going to drop my my logo on. I'm not going to make anything practical here because you know I don't normally do too much rotary work, but uh, put it in there. Uh, I'll set the the dwell time to about a hundred just to to put it on this blue tape that I've wrapped around a tube, and uh, you, you can see the result there looks looks as expected. It's round, it's it's uh, perfectly engraved. So, you know, this is another accessory you might want to consider, especially if you have other comm marker tools because you can use the same rotary on all of their lasers. So here's my takeaway. The Omni X is running a similar 5 watt UV laser to its predecessor, the Omni One, but everything around this Omni X just feels a bit more refined. You've got the safety enclosure, which keeps, you know, which keeps everybody around you protected, the powered Z axis and autofocus, which makes setup a breeze. I just grew to love autofocus as I was using this tool. And of course, the introduction of Commarker Studio. Uh, with it, you can now do things that just weren't possible before. Uh, things like that multi-layer glass uh, project that I did and, and certainly like 3D internal engraving. So all in all, I think it, it, you know, it's not gonna replace a fiber laser if you're doing high volume metal engraving. And it's certainly not meant for cutting like a CO2 laser, but if you're a small business or a side hustler and you're looking to expand the types of projects that you can offer to customers, then this is gonna open up some entirely new doors for you. The premium glass keepsakes, awards, memorials, even personalized gifts, I think those are going to be uh, really high profit items. And the bottom line here is if you've maybe outgrown your Omni One or your other UV laser if you've got one, or you just want to add some additional products to your store, then the Commarker Omni X, it might be the thing you're looking for. So 
you know, feel free to use the affiliate link I'm, I'm going to drop in the description down below if you want to find out more or purchase one of these. Uh, I'd also love to know what you would actually engrave inside glass because it is such a cool feature. And, you know, if you have a machine like this, it would be kind of interesting to know what you would do with it. So drop your ideas in the comments down below as well. And uh, if this video gave you the right level of detail or even inspired some new business ideas for you, then hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss uh, any of my upcoming UV and fiber laser projects. And if you're wondering how the OmniX compares to a fiber laser for business work, then check out this video right up here and uh, go have a look at that. And I'll say get out there, make your world, and I'll see you next time.